Yo, what is going on guys? It is the SG here coming today with another MLB The Show 20 video. Today we're going to be talking about how to make stubs in MLB The Show 20. I'm off of vacation. The upload schedule is a little wacky. Some of the videos sound a little bit rough. Mains was recording all night and editing the, literally the day before I left. Because I was busy the day before I left. So I literally just had to do everything from like 9 o'clock at night to pretty much 4.30 in the morning. And I left at 5.30 in the morning. So it was crazy. We're just going to get into the video. We're going to be making stubs off the Babe Ruth program. I'll go over in my next video, which is going to come out tomorrow, where I talk about the XP and the stubs from the program. That's just like a little bonus video. We're going to be going through the packs now. I'm going to be short. Three packs from this, but these ones aren't as fancy. I don't find headliners to be that good. This one is obviously really good. You're going to be guaranteed to make a bunch of stubs, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to wait to do those. I probably won't even do those on camera. We're just going to break it down some of the smaller packs in, you know, as a little bonus. I did actually, add, I think I added a couple packs to this, so, uh, yeah, we're just gonna basically go through this. We got three more packs here, just from the XP reward path that I'm gonna go through from all the XP I've gotten from this program. So, let's get right into this. What headliner set do we get here? We got Michael Brantley, okay. Nick Madrigal, how much does he go for? I'm assuming around 40k? Oh, well, no. never mind. Probably the same amount, then. How does he go? I'm confused. It's, it's whatever at this point. Okay, so... We're going to start off, honestly, we're going to start off opening the standards. Sorry, my controller vibrates and it is incredibly loud. So you're probably going to have to hear that throughout the video. I'll try to put it down a little bit and I'll try to talk over it. So sorry if you hear that. But uh, yeah, I mean, I've been pulling a lot of good packs. I opened a little bit of packs at my cousin's house on vacation and I pulled Justin Berlander and I think I pulled Chapman. So yeah, I mean, it's, I've, I've had some pretty good pack luck recently. Probably means I'm not going to pull anything in this video, unfortunately as we get to Kenley Jansen right there. But uh, yeah, I really don't have high hopes for this. I'm, I'm obviously gonna, okay, back to back golds. I'm over here talking about how this is gonna be bad. Yet, I'm actually pulling decent stuff. Why is, dude, this control is so loud. I just pulled three golds in a row. What is even occurring right now? What is happening? Why am I, I just pulled, are we gonna, we're gonna count that as five golds, five golds in a row. What is going on? Why am I pulling so many golds? Okay, so we're, we're cooling down. Kyle Seeger's gonna go up to a, a gold, I think, here. The next roster update, so I'm gonna hold on to him. I might even invest and try to get myself Kyle Seeger. Try to just really stock up on him. Uh, that's that's a good investment to do. I might make a best investments video. If you guys wanna see that, let me know down below. But uh, let's talk baseball. How is your team doing? Like, it, my Cubs, I'm a Cubs fan, uh, in case you didn't know. So we're doing good. We had to miss a couple games because the Cardinals. You know, they've been testing positive, like... Uh, I'm not going to make that joke, but they've been testing positive a lot. And, uh, not looking good for them. They've only played five games, I think. And I think some teams have played 15 already, close to 15. Maybe more than 15, I don't know exactly how many games, but... That's crazy, bro. That is crazy. They're going to have to play so many doubleheaders if they plan on actually finishing the season. Which I honestly don't think they will. I don't think the season will finish, in general. I think once one more team catches it and has an outbreak... I think the season will be all over and in the books. I really do. Um, I don't see the season going very far. I wish it did. I mean, this favorite sport, favorite time of year is watching watching all the teams play, but I really I don't see it going that far. I really don't see the season going much farther. Probably another week or two. Uh, and I think that'll be it. Unless, unless these guys really do, you know, put their whole life into... Oh. Put their whole life into pulling a diamond. National League. Starting pitcher. Oh, this sucks. Walker Buehler. This isn't even good. Oh, it's Kershaw. Oh, wait. Walker Buehler's a righty, I think. Man, what am I talking about? Yeah, that was terrible. 5,000, probably. 5,000. Yeah, that's garbage. Uh, that's unfortunate. But yeah, I mean, these teams are just going to have to put their whole life and soul into not catching the virus, which I, as much as I think they should do that, I don't think they're going to be, some of the people won't be responsible enough to do that. So I really don't see the season going that much farther. Uh, but if it did, I really, I, I don't know who would win the championship. I honestly have, ah, see, it's hard to tell because so many teams are hot right now. As, as much as this is me being a biased Cubs fan, potentially, I, I seriously think the Cubs will win it this year. The way they were just on fire, we've been playing like crazy. Offense is going off. The pitching that we didn't even think would be good has been going off. I think the Cubs would actually win it. That could just be me talking nonsense, being biased. Let me know down below. I would say it would be between the Cubs and the Yankees. 
but also the Padres. Like I, I think the Padres are like one of those teams you cannot sleep on. Just the amount of young talent they have. They can pop off any second. They haven't popping off actually. Tatis, dude, he might win MVP this year. I hope he wins MVP. I, Tatis, my favorite non-cub in the league. Uh, yeah. So those packs were a failure. I'm just gonna be completely honest. Those packs were a failure. These bottom as a hat packs are gonna be a failure. This pack is gonna be a failure. And our really only hope is these two packs, these two headliner packs. So we're just gonna open this one first because we know what it's gonna be. Yep, that was a 1 in 28 chance of a diamond, so really nothing nothing much to expect there. I'm just going to take these next. I'm going to take a... I need, okay, so I need to take one veteran player. I know that for a fact. And then I, oh, wait, wait, wrong thing. I need to take a postseason player. Oh, I kind of messed up, I think. I did mess up. So I already have Chipper. I probably should just take Breakout then, I guess. Let's see, because I need to do the program. The mic drop program. I'm going to take the Breakout. I think, oh, no. yeah, I think breakout was the right move. All right, so let's open this tragic disappointment of a pack. Yep, of course, nothing. What did I, I didn't expect anything, so I'm not going to sit here and say I did. I really did not expect anything from this, and we're not going to get anything from this either. Yeah, see, these packs are, they, they say that it's a 1 in 15 of a diamond. It's a lie. Don't listen to them. This could be Nick, Nick Madrigal. Will it be? Heck no. You know why? Because these packs are a lie. It says a 1 in 10 chance of a diamond. Will you ever get a good thing from this? No, you won't. Only You'll only see it from really popular YouTubers. And from this, I'm probably just going to pick. Let me see what I got to work with here. Uh, who do I take? I mean, what do I really need? I'm going to check. Oh, I can't even back out of this. Bruh, I can't even. Oh, I'm going to take the postseason. Yeah, postseason cards are hard to get. Those are like the hardest ones to get. Okay. Well, that was kind of a failure. I'm going to be completely honest with everyone. That really was not that great. Just because you guys are great. I will buy a quick... I'll buy a quick 10 bundle. Why not? Talk a little bit more. Uh, I did actually play Fortnite the day with my cousin. Wasn't a terrible experience. I'm not going to lie. I did record a Fortnite video. If you want me to release it, I will. If I do release it, I'll release it and then just private it until I know some of the main Fortnite people will see it from the channel from before. And then once, once like we get it, like 10 views on it, I'm just gonna private it, probably even delete it. Because to be honest, I don't really wanna have Fortnite. Fortnite was not terrible though. I will, I will give it that, it is a lot easier. Like when you're getting for, when you're getting like third in your first game back in a couple of weeks, especially on duos and stuff, that's, you know, that is, not something to frown upon, if I say so myself. I'm not mad about that at all. So, I don't know, maybe we'll see Fortnite again in the future, but... Whoa, that could be good. That could actually be very good. It is not that great. Stub-wise, that could have been like a 30k pull. Yo, what happened to like the themed equipment sets? Like the camo sets, or the Mother's Day sets? Those were amazing, bro. Who remembers those? I remember, I remember one, you had to get Eddie Matthews from like a Mother's Day set. There was one that was, I remember Yogi Bear for collecting camo equipment. Bro, those were so cool. I don't know why those, you know, disappeared. I don't understand. Those were awesome. I don't know what ever happened to those, bro. Oh, that's a new gold. I forgot about Woodruff. But yeah, man, they, they need to bring those back. Those were, I that was like a huge W. I wish they could have incorporated the equipment a little bit better. Not just created player. Because uh, they were kind of expensive. But, I don't know, that'd be interesting to see if they could bring him back. Well, that is going to do it for the video, guys. Uh, you know, not really a success, not really a failure. I don't really know what to call it. We only pulled one diamond, I think. One diamond equipment item. Pulled a lot of golds. So that is one good thing, I guess. Uh, these Babe Ruth missions are really causing me to just want to headbutt a wall and jump on a pile of red-hot nails, but, I mean, it's, it's whatever. I'll get them done. I'll make a video on uh, the XP and all the rewards you get from the Babe Ruth program. Um, probably t well, tomorrow. That's when you guys are gonna see it. So, you guys got you guys have that to look forward to. Uh, I think Mr. Almighty commented on one of the videos while I was on vacation. So, thank you to him for commenting on a video. Uh, upload schedule will be a lot more consistent now since I'm home, and uh, we're gonna be just really only making MLB videos until Madden comes out. And guys, when Madden comes out, no one is safe. No one is safe. The DSG Army. You know, we're coming for everyone, bro. We're coming for everyone. We're going to double in subs. We're looking we're looking for 
a lot of improvements. You're going to see a lot more high tier tutorials, a lot more editing from me, a lot more features, you know. I'm going to be getting a lot more tutorials from mixed perspectives. Uh, a lot, just a lot of stuff going on. You know, I know in the past, you know, you guys will see it, okay? I'm not going to give you any spoilers. You just, you guys will see what's going to happen when the time comes. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe for me and peace out. Thank <laughs> you.